So tonight, before it gets dark, we're gonna take down a big, nasty, gnarly tree that's hanging over top of one of our trails. So what we have here is a uh, big, gnarly, dead ash tree, and it's hanging over top of the trail. And this is the trail coming from uh, the brick house up to our place. And Melissa's always walking this with our grandson. And the other day there was a big uh, limb laying right on the trail. So what we're gonna try to do is pull this grapevine. It's connected to the top and hopefully at least break the top out of it and then I'll pull the rest of it down. If the vine just comes out, we'll go to plan B. And the vine's just coming out. All right. Grapevines are nasty. I'm just going to put all this stuff to the low low side here, and I'll stack up all this brush for the uh, little critters in the woods. Did I mention? Yeah, we did in the last video about that skunk. Not one skunk, like six skunks. There was a mom and uh, five little ones, and they're all through here. And they keep getting the dogs, so I got to figure out something to do with that too. We don't have many. Uh, we don't have many ash trees in these woods here. But we did have a few, and they all seem to be right in this area right here. This big one that's hanging over the trail, though, it's all it's all over the place. Most of them are normally relatively straight, but uh, this one was definitely not. And our grandson, he's always uh, stopping in this area and you know investigating and looking around and stuff. So I want to get this thing down before it falls on somebody.
Man, there was there was like nothing holding that thing up. It just like eased right over. Something else I'm going to do while I'm out here real quick is uh, take some of the uh, side hill lean out of this trail. When you come through here on the tractor, it uh, it's leaning pretty bad. You know what I mean? Right here where the machine's sitting. So I'm just going to clean these sticks off the trail here. And then I'll take a little bit of dirt from the high side and uh, put it on the low side, kind of flatten it out just a bit.
Well, there you have it. That didn't take long at all. But I'm telling you what, all it took once I got close to that tree was just a gentle little nudge. And the whole thing came down. There wasn't uh, much left on this stump, as you can tell. And that one section, it was tall, went way up in there. I thought for sure when I pulled on that grapevine, it would uh, break the top out of it, but it didn't. But this definitely needs more work out here. But out in the woods, you know, you never know when to quit, you know. There's dead stuff laying all over the place here. Uh, but it's getting dark now. At some point, I'll get that dead cherry out of there and maybe just clean this area up here a little bit. Push this stuff down the hill some, make a big brush pile down there. But I also uh, kind of straighten this trail up just a little bit. But yeah, that makes me feel better. I didn't realize that tree was that bad. So that was a uh, pretty good evening. I was already kind of settled in for the night. We had storms all around us. It rained here for just a bit. And I thought we were going to get hammered. And then I looked at the radar and I'm like, looks pretty good. So uh, Melissa mentioned this tree earlier today. I said, you know what? I'll just run out there and knock that down. But anyway, that's it for today's video. I really appreciate y'all being here. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, share them with your friends. Thanks.